So by this time you have heard the name Obsidian in my previous video. Actually there are many note taking apps emerging last 15 years such as Evernote, Notion, Logsack, Room Research, Obsidian. So before I used to use Notion, so I use Notion more than one year. I traded Notion actually for Obsidian that deserves another debate, I am saving that for another day. If you are new to my channel, I am Shubham Dash, a full time researcher and hobbyist YouTuber and blogger. I am a PhD student at Clarkson University, New York. Before going further, download the Obsidian, install it and open it. By this way, it would be easy to follow the discussion. Obsidian is a simple note-taking app based on markdown on top of your local folder. So let me explain this line a little bit. If you open Obsidian, you see it is so simple but powerful enough to connect your understanding externally. The main purpose of reading something is to be knowledgeable by connecting the dot and finally solving problem. That is what our brain does. So Obsidian can be the add-on with your brain. That's why Obsidian calls it a second brain. All note, reside in your local folder, not in cloud. I'm sure that gives you better sleep at night. Also, you can create as many notes as you want. Don't need to worry about space and subscription. It's like a complete freedom and safety. It is based on Markdown, which is just a plain text. It has lot of advantage over other proprietary format. In Markdown, you can make formatted professional text just by typing 1 hash makes it heading, 2 hash makes it subheading and so on. Star makes it bold and italic, so easy, right? You can attach any type of files with your note, even PDF, video, website, literally anything. Make notes for your future self. So considering that, what happens if 20 years later Obsidian doesn't exist? Actually, you don't need to worry about that because all of your notes are in just plain text. And finally, it's free and no ads. There is nothing like free without ads in this 21st century. As I said before, when it comes to read something seriously, I do that in Zotero. Similarly, when it comes to write something, Obsidian is my home. Being a PhD student and research assistant, I need to handle multiple projects. So I manage everything in Obsidian as well as Zotero. Not only that, I even write my papers in Obsidian. Do you feel uncomfortable when you need to open many Microsoft Word files at once? I always did. I really freaked out. It is normal for me working more than 5 nodes at once. Being a plain text, you can open as many nodes in Obsidian on the same window in different tabs. So when I create nodes, I don't need to jump multiple windows. I am on the same window opening nodes on the fly, writing nodes on the fly, closing the notes on the fly. So it is very helpful for keeping focus. I do not need to worry about the tools as well as formatting. Only things matter is gaining knowledge and collecting right information.